What's happening my peeps? BS here, once again, bringing to another commentary for this channel with the game FIFA 2006 for the PlayStation 2. I know this isn't the first time doing this commentary for the game, but I figure, you know, at the moment this is really the only FIFA game I have to, you know, at least you could say, you know, use it as, as visual, you know, for all the commentary, because, you know, the commentary I'm about to do, as the title says, is not going to be, you know, FIFA related, I mean, you know, FIFA game related anyway. It's gonna be about the Champions League, and it's something I'm actually hoping to work on and make and turn it into a weekly thing. You know, to talk about my opinions of what's going on, particularly with the European League. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can make this as short as possible, and you know, like I said, you know, just saying my opinion, and I hope to get some feedback on it. You know, hear with reading with read what you guys think. So yeah, before I get started with that, let me do a quick summary of what you've seen. This is highlights from my previous actually not, not my previous this is my pretty much my current season in my manager mode this is I believe my my sixth season this is my second year with uh, Manchester City and you know I'm showing you highlights with you know ironically enough facing both Barcelona and AC Milan as you will see you know right after this and I actually have them for my group stage you know for the games version of the Champions League which is the ECC so yeah, I mean, I just thought you know it would be nice to include those two since I'm gonna be talking about them anyway. And yeah, there you see in the table, I also got Werder Bremen in that in that group stage as well. So yeah, so yeah, like I said, you guys are gonna see highlights of those two matches while I'm talking about the you know what's going on with the Champions League. So yeah, let's get started. All right, first off, the the first leg of the four matches, you know, the four qualifier matches. Of course, you know AC Milan and Barcelona tied. Unfortunately, you know for the for their first encounter. You know, in a, you know, in, in an eliminated match, I was hoping to see more. Both sides really had a lot of, um, you know, a lot of opportunities, especially Barcelona. I can't really overlook that. I mean, a lot of chances I saw, you know, but you know that that defense from Messi Milan, you know, they really did a great job. And then some of those counter counter attacks were just crazy. I mean, if you you know if you had a chance to go and replay the match or you know see it live yourself, you can tell. So yeah, I mean, the end result was just you know how it started, zero to zero, unfortunately. Now. Real Madrid, I believe it was was a three a three zero win, a three and zero away win actually against you know Apoel, which barely made it to the quarterfinals you know based on penalties against um, Leon, so it wasn't really that good, it wasn't really that convincing. So yeah, and then of course um, what else? So, yeah, Bayern Munich of course defeated Marcel two to zero. You know, against um, yeah, you know, like, like I said, like, two to zero against Marcel, and yeah, and, and basically those two matches, you know, Real Madrid and uh, Bayern Munich in the first leg were pretty much one-sided. I mean, out of the two teams, I think Marcel barely held that held out a little bit more than um, Apoel, because I mean, both, you know, both you know Madrid and, and Munich they were just attacking all over. They were being too over, too overwhelming, so it's not really much of a surprise. But I mean, you know, it's just what happened. So that was really it for those two teams. And the last, of course, of the four games was, um, you know, Chelsea versus Benfica. That was an interesting match. I mean, at, at times, it, you know, even though Chelsea, you know, seemed to be dominating, it seemed like Benfica was actually, you know, looking into their first goal as well. But in the end, Chelsea secured one goal, and you know, you know, they they won, they got that away goal, and you know, they they were off to a fresh start, you know, with that first leg winning it all. So overall, it was actually pretty good. I mean. I mean, with the obsession, of course, in my opinion, with Barcelona and AC Milan, that it could have been better. But, you know, that's pretty much what happened in the first leg. Now, the second leg, which happened this week, you know, just now, it was definitely a hell of a hell of a second leg. It was also controversial, you know, particularly to the Barcelona-Milan match. I'm going to cover that match last because I got, I got a couple things I want to, you know, say, some of my thoughts. So let me start with today's matches. You know, Chelsea and, what's his name? Chelsea and Benfica having their second leg match. Um, of course, it ended up with a 2-1. Now, I believe Chelsea had the first goal in the first couple of minutes. Yeah, it was in the first couple of minutes of the first half. It was actually pretty good. A afterwards, they, you know, they, I actually saw the majority of the match because you know I was actually trying to skip through both Chelsea and Real Madrid. So I was actually trying, trying to watch both at the same time, or at least you know switch between both. But yeah, Chelsea. I mean, they they really had some chances. I mean, to score maybe two, three, maybe four goals. Unfortunately, it didn't happen for them, you know, until, you know, of course, the very last minute. But, you know, they, they, were, they were pushing, you know, doing some good plays. And, of course, Benfica, you know, they, were, they weren't going down. They made, a, they made one of their goals. I mean, the only goal they made 
And of course, you know, it was a wonderful goal at the end by Chelsea. I forgot what his name was. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know the player's name. It definitely wasn't Torres. <laughs> but it, 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 was, it was pretty much a counterattack, like a rebound. You know, um, I think they were doing, uh, Benfica was doing a free kick. And then one of the Chelsea players, by himself, he just got the ball, you know, rebounded off his leg and just went straight at it. It looked, like, it looked like he was about to pass it to, a, I, I don't know if it was Drogba or, you know, Draga, Drogba, however you pronounce his name. He just, you know, just went straight and, you know, just shot at it. I mean, hell of a shot. So definitely a very convincing goal. So, yeah, definitely congratulations to Chelsea. They will be seeing Barcelona, of course. That's definitely a given. Now, moving on to the next match. Oh, actually, no, before, before I move on to the next match, I got to say that, of course, just by quality, this match that Chelsea had obviously was a lot better than the first one. I mean, the first one wasn't really that convincing. So Chelsea definitely stepped up the game in this one. So, you know, just wanted to add that. Now, the next match, of course, Bayern Munich versus Marcel. Oh, yeah, this match happened yesterday. Yeah, that, not really much to comment on that match. I mean, you know, Oleg, I think this, yeah, the player's name, Oleg, he scored both goals and Marcel barely the squad. So, yeah, it, it was almost, you know, if you can't say all of it, you, you might as well say all of it, you know, almost all of it. You can just say it was one-sided, you know, straight out. Not really much to say about Marcel. I'm actually surprised the match wasn't, you know, 5-0 to zero or anything like that, you know, like Real Madrid in their match. So, yeah, not really much to say about that. But, you know, but to congratulate, you know, Bayern Munich, they will be seeing Real Madrid in probably the most highly anticipated match of this Champions League, you know, arguably. So, yeah. And now, you know, to Real Madrid, their win 5-2 to two against Apoel. You know, I'm not really, you know, I already mentioned it before, I know, I'm not a Madrid fan at all, but I got to hand it to them, you know, I got to... I gotta give him respect. I mean, that was that was very impressive. Five goals. You know, they you know they they gave away two to Apoel, but you know that was that was more of two consolation goals for Apoel. I really wasn't expecting them to score at all. But you know, nonetheless, I mean, they did. But you know, Bar you know not Barcelona. Real Madrid still you know managed to score more. You know, keep their precision. So definitely a very convincing game for them. It is it's definitely gonna be a tough call with Real Madrid and you know, Munich, considering they're both powerhouses. I mean, I, I really, you know, you really can't take a side. I mean, the, it's, it's almost even, you can even say, because, I mean, they, they got a hell of a roster for both. I already read some tweets saying that they're predicting that Bayern Munich can actually win the whole thing. I mean, that, I wouldn't actually doubt that, I mean, considering the quality of players and, you know, their their gameplay, their their attacks and everything. So, yeah, I guess we just got to wait and see until the match happens. I can't really say anything about that, except that I'm looking forward to it. And now, last but not least, to end this, you know, of course, the... The controversial match of the week. Barcelona versus AC Milan. Starting with the whole two penalty thing, you know, both you know, Messi scoring both of them. You know, that started, you know, so much drama and you know, and you, you, you gotta give the people some you know, some reason to it. They weren't really hitting I mean, you know, actually yeah, they actually were hitting, you know, some of them, not everybody. But the problem was, you know, the calls for the penalties were weren't actually convincing. I mean I, I actually gotta, you know, be open minded to say that. I'm actually a Barcelona fan. I actually mentioned it before, but I mean, in my opinion, the you know the first penalty call wasn't really you know it, that, that was actually the most questionable one, with that questionable one of the two. Comparing to the second one, because you know I know people were saying no, no, the second one was the worst one. You know that shouldn't even be called. But in my opinion, the the second one was actually right. The first one not because, and you know no matter how much you look at, I mean, in the second one, Busquets had his shirt pulled off. I mean, even, uh, people say no, the play the play hadn't started yet, but still, I mean, you, you can see Busquets was still going down even after the ball already got kicked. And you know, yeah, I, I actually looked at it from different camera angles. I think it was Sky Sports, so I forgot which channel I was watching it. But yeah, they were, they were showing some great angles, and yeah, I, I could definitely tell that. Yeah, it, it was definitely a right call. I mean, the player was lucky not to get a red card because I mean that that really wasn't called for. So my opinion, the second penalty was right. I mean, I know I know I could have some debates. I know some people could jump into conclusions and say, no, dude, you're wrong. But, you know, it's just my opinion. I mean, if you think differently, I mean, that's your opinion. I mean, I, we can't really do anything about it. I mean, unless, I, unless we're going to argue about it, but, you know, to no point. I mean, it's already happened. Barcelona still scored that goal. It's not like they're going to do a rematch. I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind seeing a rematch between both, you know, if they want to go ahead and, and, and annul the penalties and, you know, say, you know, Milan and Barcelona go ahead and have a rematch. I, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing that again. But, you know, it's, it's FIFA's call, I guess. Or well, actually, FIFA or, or the UE UFA's, you know, whoever, whoever's call it is, it doesn't matter. But bottom line is that penalty, that second one, in my opinion, counted. Now the first one, yeah, it was actually questionable because of the way Messi went down. 
you know, the, the other player, I already forgot his name, you know, he pretty much scissors him, you know, gra grab him in a scissors way, you know, with both legs, and supposedly Messi couldn't get up. At least that's the way I saw it, so. Hmm. That one was really questionable, you know, it should have been a null or not. I mean, that was really up to the ref. I mean, it, actually, it, it, even if that penalty would have been cancelled, I mean, it, it would actually would have made the game a lot more interesting. You know, considering that would have been 2-1, to one, and Milan would have still had a chance. Now, here's the problem. <coughs> and, excuse me. I had to interrupt myself for a sec. But, yeah, here's the problem, the last problem. I read some comments. I actually didn't get to watch the whole match, unfortunately. There were some bits I had to skip. But, they, they were, you know, the screen pretty much froze on me. So, yeah, there was a debate saying that I think it was during the 70-something minutes or the 80 minutes during the match that there was supposed to be a penalty in favor of Milan that was supposed to be called and the ref didn't call it. I didn't actually see that. I'm actually trying to find the footage. You know, obviously I'm not going to find it on YouTube, but there was a call to say that, you know, that penalty should have been in their favor, but, you know, the ref didn't call it. So until I can find it, you know, if I actually manage to find it and see it, you know, I'll be, I'll be glad to make a comment on it. But, yeah, you know, if that call should have been made, you know, yeah, obviously the, the, whole, the whole game would have been different. Most likely, you know, if, if it would have stayed that way, yeah, I mean, actually, wait, no, hold on, never mind, no, no, if, if, if Milan would have been granted that penalty, it would have been 3-2, to two, never mind. Barcelona would have had to have one of their penalties uh, removed, and then, you know, Milan had, you know, score another goal or, or, or have their penalty, it would have been 2-2, two two. and in that case, I think it would have favored Milan, because, you know, two away goals would have outnumbered uh, Barcelona's two home, game, two, two home goals, so that would have been different. But, you know, unfortunately, that didn't happen. I mean, for Milan. I mean, I'm not saying that shouldn't happen. I mean, it already happened as it is. So, what we have in the right now, of course, is Barcelona versus Chelsea. And, of course, you know, Real Madrid versus Munich. So, yeah. Overall, like I said, it was actually pretty good. I mean, not, not really bad for a quarterfinal. I'm actually expecting a lot more for a semifinal quality. You know, we got four, you know, big teams here. Even though some people may have the debates saying, you know, this team doesn't deserve to be here. But nonetheless, I mean, I mean, just thinking about it, we got high-class teams. You know, we got Real Madrid, of course, Barcelona, representing Spain, Chelsea representing, you know, the uh, the English teams. You know, of course, it's the only one left. I mean, I think some a lot of people were expecting United or City to be making it, or maybe Arsenal or Liverpool. But you know, surprisingly enough, Chelsea is the one that makes it after like three years. I think, yeah, it's like this is like after three years that Chelsea makes the semifinals. So congratulations to them on that. Real Madrid, of course, I think they haven't been. In in a semi-final in like one or two years, if my memory serves me correct. And of course, Barcelona has already been in semi-finals. This is like their fifth, their fifth consecutive year. So it's not bad. It's actually good for them, actually. I think it's like the first time for everything. You know, first time in history. So yeah, they can, you know, they can brag about that. And of course, Bayern Munich. Now, Bayern Munich are not really familiar with the Champions League history. If somebody wants to educate me, then, you know, and write a comment on the comment section on, about that, you know, I'll, I'll gladly read it and comment about it. But yeah. Definitely, you know, for those of you who have been sticking around for the Champions League, it's going to be a hell of a round, you know, hell of a semifinal. Anything can happen. That's the beauty of this sport. So, yeah, we just got to wait. Stick around for April 17th. In the meantime, like I said, I will be trying to do uh, this, you know, make this a weekly thing. You know, since next week we're not going to have Champions League, I'll be sure I'll be talking about the, you know, the, what's it called, the different leagues. You know, the, I'm, I'm actually trying to keep up. With the European leagues right now, you know, the Liga, the Bundesliga, you know, my was it Bundesliga or Bundesliga? I think I should pronounce it. Um, or Bundesliga, actually, my bad. And then, you know, the English Premier and, you know, the, uh, what's it called, the Series A, or, you know, the Italian League. I'm actually trying to keep up, so I will see if I can do comments about that. I'll see if I can try to watch as many matches as I can. So, yeah, I definitely expect at least, you know, one FIFA video a week. And there may be another project I may be working on, you know, FIFA related. Or, you know, soccer related. Or which I'm just going to call it football. I don't like calling it soccer. That's something you will see, you know, you will hear from me. I'm not really much of a fan of calling it soccer. You know, the Americans call it soccer, but, you know, we can go on debate on that all day. I'm just going to call it football. Like it should be called. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Tell me what you think of this Champions League so far. And, yep. Hope to, hear, hope to see your feedback. Until then, this was BS. Peace.